This is what happens when a car is traveling at 55 miles per hour, hits a tree, and the driver is not wearing a seatbelt. As the car meets the tree, the front bumper and grille collapse. Steel slivers are forced down and puncture the tires. The hood begins to crumple, rising and smashing into the windshield. The spinning wheels rise off the ground. The fenders telescope backward over the front doors. The heavy frame members begin to break the momentum of the two and a half ton car, but the driver continues forward at 55 miles per hour. His momentum is 20 times the normal force of gravity. It is as if he weighs 3,200 pounds. As he braces for the impact, his legs snap at the knees. His upright torso lifts off the seat as his broken knees press against the dashboard. The steering wheel begins to bend, his head nears the sun visor, and his chest rises over the steering, steering column. Only four tenths of a second has passed. The front wheels have compressed and almost stopped while the rear end is still traveling at 55 miles per hour. The driver is still going 55 miles per hour. When a half ton engine block meets the tree, the rear end of the car bucks into the air. The driver's hands bend the steering column almost vertical. Less than a half of a second has passed. As the driver hits the steering wheel, the 3,200 pound force impales him on the broken shaft. The steel punctures his lungs and tears the arteries in his chest and heart. His shoes are torn from his feet as his head makes contact with the windshield. The brake pedal snaps off the floorboard as the chassis bends in the middle, shearing bolts. The rear end drops as the doors and hinges can no longer hold their positions. Doors open as the car finally comes to a stop sending the front seat crashing forward, pinning the driver against the steering column. Blood is forced out of his mouth, and the heart is stopped. The driver is dead. It has taken seven tenths of a second. Less time than it takes to say, buckle up. <laughs>